Hello everybody. In a previous video I demonstrated how to get all of the URLs of a given web page, but I did not explain how you can get the text of the of that hyperlink if it's given on the web page. So in this video I'm going to explain how to do that. And just to give a real quick recap of the previous video in case you're just joining this one. On this Microsoft Excel workbook, all I have is a list box here, which is an ActiveX control and I have a macro that's assigned to this get all URLs button. And what I'm gonna do is go to those macros and select edit. And all we did in the previous video was we created the Internet Explorer application object. We get the URL name from sheet one range E4, which is over here on the sheet. We navigate to that URL. Here we create a do loop until the page loads. And once the page loads, we clear out the list box and we create a for loop to add every single hyperlink that we find. So what I'm going to do here in this specific example is change it out so that we're no longer looking at the hyperlink URL, we're looking at the text of the hyperlink. It's actually a very simple change. So first off, if you want this code, just pause your screen right now and enter in this code into your, into your macro but the only thing I'm going to do different is modify this line. I'm gonna make this a comment. Sheet one, list box one dot add item. I just put a single quote to make it a comment. That way it's not executable code, but I'm going to copy it. And it's gonna be hyperlink dot inner text. And what this is going to do is give us just the text of the URL. Now, in some cases, you gotta keep in mind that a lot of these URLs may not have text assigned to it because the web designer may have set up that URL as a picture so it won't have any text unless they actually assigned it as a value so we're gonna go on and now try this code out I'm gonna click get all URLs and as I expected many of the a tags or the or the hyperlink tags do not have any kind of text like this one right here or this, this next one, but this will be giving you all of the tags that are in there, whether or not they have text. And to go one step further, I want to put us into design mode so I can expand this list box. I'm going to go back to the Visual Basic environment. I'm going to do sheet one dot list box list box one dot add item. I'm going to do the the inner text. I'm going to do the ampersand. Put a put a colon and then we'll go on and just put the actual hyperlink and so now we're going to go on and play this code again and so now what we have done is we have the text of the hyperlink and the actual hyperlink now if it's blank there's no kind of if there's no text assigned to the hyperlink then you're just going to see the semicolon and the URL so I hope you enjoyed this video guys, just wanted to give that real quick explanation that in the previous video I didn't show how to put the inner text of the A tag, but here you go. Thanks for watching.